Hi, in this video we will deal with a bug in 3D Studio Max where a V-Ray Sun appears uh, randomly in your scene. First we will recreate the problem and then we'll see how we can deal with it. Here I opened a new Max file. I will open the material editor and this issue appears when you open the material map browser for the first time or when you open the slate material editor since the material map browser is present in the slate material editor on the left so here i will open the material map browser and as you can see a new layer is created called recovered lights and inside there is a V-ray sun here in the scene you can see that <coughs> we have a V-ray sun if I delete the V-ray sun and deleted the layer now if I open again the material uh, editor and the material map browser this will not happen again I will close max and reopen it again I will open the material editor and choose slate material editor and you can look here what will happen Again, you have this recovered lights layer and the uh, V-Ray Sun. Also, when you delete it and delete the layer, this will not happen again when you open the material uh, editor, when you open the slate material editor. Okay, now why this is happening? In the material map browser, you can see that here I have uh, a max file name. Previously, I loaded uh, a max file. Uh, and when I did this, uh, I got all the materials in the material editor of this max file because I wanted to use some of its materials. And you can see here that there is a V-Ray Sky. Here, I have this original uh, max file. This is the file that that is loaded uh, here. And this max file has a V-Ray Sun. And there is a V-Ray Sky in the scene. So what's happening here is that Max is looking at the material map browser and it sees there is a V-Ray Sky and it brings in the V-Ray Sun with it, which is a bug in Max. So, of course, if I go here and delete all V-Ray Suns this will, and save, this will fix the issue. But, of course, you don't want to mess up any of your files because of that. What you can do here, you can click here and in additional options you can reset the material map browser basically it will remove all the material libraries that you have here because these material libraries uh, they stick so every time you open max they will be present here so you can clean that by using this option here or I can go to the default uh, uh, V-Ray Sky, this uh, V-Ray Sky here, click on it, right click and say remove from library. Now when I do that, I will restart Max again. Here it's telling me that the material library extracted from has been modified, extracted from this file. They are asking me if I want to save the new version, basically the new version, uh, the one that I have without the V-Ray Sky. So I will say uh, yes, if I like to keep it, 
I would say yes. <coughs> and I will uh, call this modified. Now I will open Max again. I will open the material editor now. As you can see, we have this modified version. There is no V-Ray Sky here, and this problem uh, doesn't happen. Uh, of course, like I said before, if you, don't, if you want to get rid of all the materials here, you can just uh, revert to the startup uh, uh, option, uh, version. You can just say, Reset Material Map Browser. And you can say yes. And now there are no, uh, materi uh, no uh, material libraries um, loaded. So anyway, this is how you deal with this issue. And if you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. And see you in the next video. Thank you.